Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel today. We are diving into something really important when working with microservices, authentication and authorization. I will show you how to set up Nginx as a reverse proxy and use JWT for secure user authentication. By the end of this video, you will have a tools you needed to ensure your microservices are locked down and secure. If you are ready to take your microservice security to the next level, let's get started. First, you can see that uh, we have three services. First one is Nginx. Nginx is uh, working as in our reverse proxy and API gateway. There is an auth service. Auth service handle all of the requests related to authentication like it has the path for uh, if we go into our auth service, we can see that we have a login route, we have a register route and we have a uh, verify route. What this verify route is doing is that uh, it's checking the if the token is valid, JWT token is validated or not. If it's validated, then we can request is very authorized. Otherwise, it's not. And at the time of logging, we are uh, sending the response as in to a JWT token. Here is another route uh, called logout route. And we also have a register route for creating users. Uh, it's just a basic application. It's a demo application, so I haven't followed any uh, good uh, coding practices. I have written this code for a demo uh, demo purposes, so uh, you won't find any uh, database connections or any good practices. Uh, now we are done with our authentication service, and we have our product service. In our product service, uh, it's also an beta demo application. Uh, if we go into the uh, normal route, uh, we are getting a response like you have reached the product server. So my authentication flow will be uh, if I go into Excalibur. Uh, so first, there will be an user. And then user will make a request to our Nginx server. Hmm. And then Nginx server, if uh, if it's a normal login or uh, logout or register, then it will pass it to our auth service directly for routes like login and register. And uh, for the other paths, uh, which which will be prefixed with uh, products, like we, if we are making, uh, if we are going into a protected route, so first, uh, first it won't be uh, if it's a protected route. First, it will go to our auth service. So for the pro, for slash product routes, uh, for this uh, for this scenario, I'm just uh, taking as in product route. For product route, it will first go with go to the auth service, and then it will check if uh, if the request and uh, at the time of uh, sending request to auth service, we need to send our authorization token as in header bearer token. It will be a bearer token. Then then our auth service auth service will check if it's validated or not. If it's validated. If it's validated, then it will uh, then it will redirect to our Nginx server, and Nginx server will redirect it again to our product service. Product service. If validated, if our token is validated, and if if it's not validated then then it will respond with a 401 or unauthorized unauthorized response okay so this is this is the basic flow of our application and this will be this will happen in our uh, authentication service and all of this uh, routing logic will be handled by our nginx server and also uh, in this in this uh, video i will tell you how you can store your logs uh, and everything every service i am deploying every service as in uh, docker container and uh, i will also tell you how you can store your nginx logs so it will be pretty interesting for you guys this is the flow of our application now let's check into our application first inside our inside our uh, auth Inside our auth, we have a Docker file. I have generated it uh, using Docker init command. 
and inside nginx uh, nginx folder we have a proxy configuration file i will explain you how this proxy configuration is working is working so first uh, inside this http directive i am just mentioning how we are storing all of these logs first we have an access logs and then we have error logs so this will be pretty beneficial for your monitoring purposes if anything goes wrong uh, it will store it into your error log for every request will be stored inside access logs and then uh, we are stating two services auth service auth service is running on 3000 port if we go to our docker file we can see that it's running uh, we have exposed our uh, exposed our docker container in 3000 port for the auth service and for the product service we have exposed our application into 3001 port uh, inside inside our upstream directory we can see that auth service is running on 3000 and product service is 3001 so it's fine and then we in our inside our server directory uh, our nginx uh, our nginx will be accessed by on port 80 it's the basic port this is the routing logic so for this uh, for this register path and the login path what we are doing we are making a request to our auth service directly we are not doing anything and then we are passing all of these headers important headers and so this is this is a simple routing logic for public uh, public routes like registers and logins and now we have our protected route so what is our protected route protected route is not accessible by users who are unauthorized protected routes are accessible when you have verified tokens so uh, for uh, for verifying we are making an auth request to our auth verify service if we go into our internal route call this is a location directory inside location directory we are mentioning the internal route call to our authentication service for verifying the endpoint with our authorization token so what we are what we are doing this is we have to mention our internal route call and then what we are doing we are making a, a call to our auth service inside our verify route if we go to our auth service and go into the verify route we can see that it's calling a authentication middleware for token function and it's checking if our bearer token is valid verified or not this middleware is just validating our token also we have to pass our bearer tokens as an authorization header and also we are passing all of this other headers if this is goes uh, well then it will uh, then it will be redirected into our product service and after this it will make our call that we are trying to do otherwise it will uh, respond with a 401 authorized uh, response okay so this is your configuration file for the nginx now we will uh, move into our compose file inside our compose file we can see that we have three services running uh, one is product i have already explained you product auth and nginx and what we are doing we are creating a network it will be a bridge network so uh, what we are doing uh, we are uh, exposing our auth service auth server into port 3000 and our product server exposed to 3001 port and we are not exposing our uh, containers to the outer world we are just exposing our port in a docker network way so it can be accessible only by only within this network so only within this network product server and auth server can be only accessible inside this network outside this network it 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 cannot be accessible so if we try to make a request to our product server it is not accessible we cannot make 3001 request or uh, into request into 3001 port or 3000 port because it's not exposed to our host machine it is only exposed to this network only nginx server has that accessibility to communicate with our auth server and our product server we have mapped our uh, port 80 to our uh, from our container to our host machine and it's also depends on other servers uh, why we are doing this cause uh, first we need to uh, make sure that our product server and the auth server container has been created then we can uh, run our nginx proxy server right and uh, for the volumes for, for persistent storage what we are doing we are passing our configuration file to our nginx configuration file we are just moving from one place to another place and for storing all of these logs what we are doing uh, we are store we will be storing our logs uh, using bind mount method and inside our uh, directory inside our log directory all of the nginx logs will be stored okay so this is the uh, this is a basic uh, docker compose file for storing your logs making requests if you want to check if our uh, code is working or not first what we need to do to run all of the services we need to do docker compose minus d we will run it using detached mode <laughs> so we can see that our network internal auth service network has been created and our auth service product service and nginx proxy service 
uh, all the services have been created and now if we go into our uh, docker desktop we can see that so three of the services are running and auth service is not exposed to our host machine also our product service uh, we can only make it to our request to our nginx proxy server so now we are going to our postman and first what we have to do we have to register it so i am just uh, re registering it so we are registering a user uh, we have to pass a username and password and then i'm making a then i have to register my user yes our user has been registered successfully and then what i will be doing i will be uh, logging in my user to get our token uh, if i make a request you can see that i am getting a new token i have to i am copying it and then uh, what we are if we want to go into our product service then we have to pass our uh, authorization token using this beer token we are passing it as in beer token and then we have to paste our token here and now if i make a request to our product server yes you can now you can see we have successfully reached our product server so everything is working perfectly now if you want to check if i can uh, if i messed up if i mess up with that uh, if our token and now i am sending it to our request yes now you can see 403 forbidden we cannot make any request to our server so now uh, if we go to our product uh, product so now if we go to our uh, folder structure we can see that we have a folder named as in logs so i have already explained you what are the logs these are the logs for nginx so if we go into our access log we can see that these are the all of this requests and uh, we can also see uh, this request has been made by postman and what are the responses and the status codes and if we go into our error log we can also see that what are the errors that has been happened inside our nginx service so this is a pre uh, pretty cool thing i guess i hope you guys have learned how you can uh, manage your authentication flow inside your microservice application in production there are lots of way to manage authentication there are also other ways like uh, service mesh also you can uh, use nginx plus for authentication but this is also a good way to manage uh, your authentication flow you can also use external authentication server that wraps up our tutorial on setting up authentication and authorization in microservices using nginx and jwt i hope this video helps you to understand the process and gave you some valuable insights for your own projects if you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like this Feel free to leave any suggestions or thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.